What's up friends, I got a brand new video for you today and today we're gonna to take a look at the Tamron 35 to 150 and how to set it up and how to customize it using the Tamron utility software. Now I did a review of this lens a couple months ago and I kinda of just briefly went over that you could customize it using the software but I didn't really dig too deep into it so that that review was shorter. So it's gonna be its own separate video and we'll just walk through how to set it up, how to customize it, how to change all the settings. And this will also work for the Tamron 28 to 75 G2 because it also has that USB port on the side to update the firmware as well as customize the lens. Near the lens mount, you'll see the sealed USB-C port that you need to connect to your computer. You connect the lens on or off the camera, but to see your custom changes, it makes more sense to leave it on the camera for testing. When you have the lens connected, you can start customizing the lens. Now, depending on what lens you have, the software is gonna show slightly significant different things because the 35 to 150 has three custom settings selector, while the 28 to 75 doesn't. In here, you can easily update the lens firmware, but I don't need to because it's already on the latest version. So the lens utility software is really easy to set up on the 35 to 150. You have your custom switch settings as well as your focus ring settings. So let's jump into the focus ring custom settings first and I'll show you what you can do with that. The first option is the direction you want the focus ring to turn when you're in manual focus. I'm just gonna leave it on default, but you could switch it to reverse. Manual focus method is really cool. In here you can set the lens from non-linear to linear, which will give you more of a direct feel to the lens. Once selected, you have four different rotation options, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and 360 degrees for a full rotation. But for this test, I'm just setting it to 180 degrees because that's how I like it. If we come back to the custom switch settings, this is where all the magic happens. As I said, the 28 to 75 G2 won't have this custom switch option, but it will have a focus set button. Assigning what the focus button does in each custom mode is super easy. So in custom mode one, we're gonna look at A and B focus mode because that's what's most common. And I think people use it for setting their A and B point. Once selected, you have the option to adjust the focus speed from plus two all the way down to negative five. I'm gonna set it at negative two because I feel like that's where it's nice and smooth. So in order to use this, you need to switch the lens into manual focus and set your first focus point and hold down the focus button for one second. Then focus on your B point and then again, you're gonna hold down the focus button and then you're gonna switch the lens into autofocus and then you can trigger your A and B points just by pushing the focus button. Now, if you wanna see what it looks like at its fastest setting, it's really quick. So let's set custom two to focus preset. And what this allows you to do is set a defined focus point that'll override autofocus at any point when you need it to return to that spot. And I'm gonna set it to negative four, which is actually gonna be kind of slow, but it will look nice and smooth. So while you're on autofocus, just push the focus button and you're gonna see the camera switch into manual focus. And this is where you can set your focus point. Once you have your focus set, just hold the focus button down again to lock it in. Now the camera's gonna return to autofocus, but when you want, you can override it to your focus point just by pushing down the focus button. So for the last custom mode three, I'm gonna set the focus button to toggle the focus ring into the aperture ring. So all you have to do is press the button down and now the focus ring will adjust the aperture and you press it again and it'll go back to focus. And the last option I didn't cover is assign function from camera. And basically that just turns the button into a focus hold button like it would on a G Master lens. So you can set it up to something like eye autofocus. Anyway, this is like the future of lenses right here. This new setup, being able to customize your A and B points and change your focus speed. And even just the focus throw in the lens directly through an app. And that's really cool that you can do that. My only gripe is that you would need your laptop with you everywhere you go to change the focus speed settings because you can't change that from the lens. Obviously you can change your other things that you customized into each slot, but the focus speed isn't one of them. So you would have to bring your laptop with you. So that's not convenient on some shoots, but that's just the way it is. I have no idea if they're gonna add this to all their lenses. Obviously the 28 to 75 just got that update. And I don't know if they're gonna do that with the 17 to 28 or make new lenses, but it's a really cool feature to have on these lenses. And uh, yeah, that's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down twice. No one sees the thumbs down anymore, but I gotta keep saying it. See you later.